Hi everyone, we're going to do a lesson today, but first I've put a light in the background because all the others what seem to do it, so I thought I would as well. Um, all, today we're talking about HSS, high speed sync. Give you a bit of French here, synchronisation haute vitesse. Good educational program this, bit of French. Well, for those of you that don't know about uh, sync speeds, let's have a quick look, and it will be a quick look, because uh, most of you will know. What happens normally is very expensive graphics, these. Um, what happens normally is the shutter, or oh, well, we'll start, that's the shutter closed. The shutter will normally open by a curtain that comes down, and we're stuck. As I said, very, very expensive graphics. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, it comes down until it's open like that. The flash goes off and exposes the picture. Then, as soon as that's finished, and that takes around two hundredth of a second, as soon as that's finished, the next one comes down and closes. So no more light can get through. Sorry about the graphics. But they're expensive these days. And I'd love a sponsor. <laughs> Why do we need the HSS when we're told that our flashes work at 10 thousandths of a second, 20 thousandths of a second? They go off that fast. Why do we need the HSS other than overpowering the sun outside to get a nice dark background things like that but i'll show you that later when vanessa agrees to go out with me or rather my wife allows her to go out with me but i'll explain you the biggest problem the flash goes off then it dies down and it dies down in a graph a bit like that what happens is when they tell you your flash goes off at 10 thousandths of a second or 20 thousandths of a second, yes, they're right, but they measure it here. Because that, they call it T0.5. Now, that's where the manufacturers measure normally their flash. The actual speed of the flash is down here, which is a lot, lot slower because that dying down causes that extra long exposure. So your flash isn't 10 thousandths of a second. It's only 10 thousandths of a second if you can have the shutter open very short amount of time. Now, when we go to high speed, HSS, when we go to high speed, I'll show you what happens. We, we set the camera up and we set the flash up for HSS and this is what happens. We have a slit. Now that slit will be bigger or smaller depending on the, on the uh, shutter speed. This for example is about uh, 8 thousandths of a second, maybe. It, just, it comes down and you might think the flash, we've got one line. Well, if that was the case, it wouldn't be much good, would it? So, they've done a wonderful thing. What they've manufactured in the modern flashes is a flash that goes flash, 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 <laughs> flash, all the way down, <laughs> right from the top, flash, 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 flash. What it, it sends pulses of flashes that appear to be a continuous light. And that's how it works, and I find that absolutely incredible. As I explained, you can use HSS for going outside with Vanessa and keeping the background really dark. That's one use. Fantastic, you can work at eight thousandths of a second at F11 uh, outside in bright sun. You can imagine the background are going nice and dark and the flash on the subject will be perfect exposure. The other obvious reason is for high speed photography. An egg breaking, a balloon exploding, a glass breaking. Here are a couple of pictures that uh, 
that we've done. Now a lot of people think you can do that type of photography in a room with no lights on and just open the shutter and fire it either with a trigger that will fire the flash etc. Not really right. You really need the trigger um, that fires the camera and not the flash and then the camera will fire the flash. That allows you to do the eight thousandths of a second. I use the Vesta trigger as you saw in one of my films or a couple of my films that fires the camera and not the flash. Bye.